The Tropicana decades-long Las Vegas reign is coming to an end. After nearly 67 years in business, the strip staple is shutting down. Thank you so much for joining us tonight live at 5. I'm Abel Garcia. And I'm Trisha Keen. And today has been the last full day to visit the iconic property. We're live tonight as the countdown to closing begins. And I can tell you we've been greeted by a lot of fans of this hotel who've been here over the years, 60 plus years, and they're going to miss it. So many. I mean, we just spoke to someone who says she's lived here for more than 55 years. Tropicana has been one of her most favorite spots to come on by and definitely check out what this place has to offer. Absolutely. Well, now here is what we know about the time timeline of the closure. The gaming floor will close at 3 a.m. and the food and beverage departments will shut down at noon as the final hotel guests leave. Then the property will host a ceremonial closure of the doors at 1 p.m. Preparations for demolition will begin shortly after with a demolition date happening sometime in October. Now, the Strip property has seen its fair share of implosions. If you've lived here a while, you've seen a lot too including the one that is going to happen here in 2010. When a small portion of the resort was taken to the ground, it happened to make room for a second entrance to the hotel and open up space for additional parking here at the Trop. Again, we're just hours away from the doors closing right here at Tropicana Las Vegas. And you know who also has been able to capture a lot of those moments with a lot of people here as well as our very own anchor, Joe Moeller, who is standing by right now as well to give us his perspective on what people have to say before they say goodbye to this beautiful location, Joe. Yeah, hey there, you two. I'm right near you over uh, right across the street. You can see the Tropicana behind me here. I was out here on Friday inside the hotel talking to a lot of people outside today, talking to a lot of people coming by to take photos. Many people just want to be able to go inside or outside and take those last photos of the Tropicana. I spoke to several of them who say uh, they wanted to be here while it was still open to keep that memory in their minds and on their phones forever. I like to say I was here. April the 1st, 2024. So we just wanted to come in one more time before it closed. We went inside, we took a picture of that beautiful ceiling. We were hoping that they'll save it in some way. We come out here often, but Tropicana is closing, so we wanted to get a couple chips. What went through your mind when you heard about the Tropicana closing? Well, kind of surprised to a point. You know, it's legendary in its own right, like the Flamingo. All right, people from all over the country who happened to just be in town and they wanted to come down here to the Tropicana and take their photos and also the locals who you just heard from as well, a couple of them, uh, who, I mean, they spent decades of their lives here and the Tropicana was part of their life. A lot of people I met, not only today, but also on Friday, had family members who worked here at the Tropicana and they have memories from when they were kids here at the Tropicana, so they definitely wanted to get in there. Many people also asking about that glass ceiling when you walk in that is in there. Uh, it will be preserved according to the folks at Valley's. Um, I was trying to find some folks who are staying the night here tonight. Unfortunately, today I couldn't find anybody, but I just checked online and uh, I guess it appears that some people might be paying about 500 bucks to stay here on the very last night that the Tropicana is open. So um, that's a pretty hefty price to pay on a Monday night here in Las Vegas, but it is the last night of the Tropicana and who can say they stayed in the last night? There are not many folks. Guys, 